you talk a little bit about the genesis of Helix? Uh, Helix was written by Cameron Persunde, who had developed it as a spec script with Sony Television for about a year with a producer named Linda Obst. And at, uh, about a year after they had been working on the script, they sent it over to me to read. And at first I didn't really want to read it because I sort of conceptually wasn't interested in things about viruses and medical shows. And they just kept saying, no, 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 you've got to read this. This is a really good script. And they sent it over here, and my producing partner, Meryl Davis, read it. And she said, you know what, this is pretty good. And I sat down and read it, and I found she was right. I, it was a page turner. I kept wanting to read the next scene and see what happened. And when I got to the end of the script, I wanted to know what the next episode was, so I was kind of sold. And at that point, I said, all right, I'm in. Let's, let's talk about what this would be as a, as a series and what the mythology would be and sort of the arc of the first season. And then from that point, we took it out and, uh, and pitched it to, uh, to Sci-Fi Channel, and then they bought it. Yeah, and you've cast uh, what I consider one of the go-to guys for for sci-fi and fantasy, and Billy Campbell, as your as your lead. Could you just talk about him? What what he brings to the to the show? Billy's great. Billy's one of those actors that the audience, I think, intuitively believes. You know, he has an everyman quality to him. There's an authenticity to Billy, and that's important in a, in a particularly in a science fiction piece where you're asking the audience to believe into things that don't exist or or haven't happened yet. And you need that person at the center of the frame that the audience sort of can invest in and say, okay, he believes it and he seems real, so I will too. You know, Patrick Stewart did the same kind of job on uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. Eddie almost provided the same kind of gravitas on Battlestar, and, and Billy will give that to us in Helix.